Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of my custom painted Bakugan. So as you can see on screen, I have taken them, all the ones I've painted and I've taken them and put them right here for us to look at. We're going to go through them all individually and kind of talk about them. And uh, yeah, just kind of do a showcase. I've made plenty of like custom paint videos. I even have like a Wavern tutorial, which I'll put a little icon up here at the top. Um, you can check that out. And I've just, I've shown through some of them. But never all in a full video so this will be like my my first like here's what i have right now and then maybe like in a couple like months or so on we'll do another one um i will tell you right now some of these are for sale i'll leave my uh my links down in the description you can check them out if you like and uh yeah let's get on with the video uh we're gonna be using this to open the stuff up it says if one bakugan at this battle has a printed g power of 200 or more Higher than the other Bakugan, no ability cards may be played. So that'll be pretty good, especially if uh, you have weaker Bakugan. So this will be the card we're using, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So I want to start off with two you may be familiar with. Um, I've talked about them in a couple videos before. I have two custom painted Hades. Uh, so we have an anime accurate Darkus and an anime accurate Aquas, even though Aquas was never an official attribute for Hades in the, the show. But I had an Aquas one, so I decided, well, I might as well um, kind of make him, like, you know, show accurate. Um, they both look pretty similar. Uh, you can see right there. Show them off. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, one issue I have with painting is sometimes things don't open very well. Uh, sometimes they do. It all kind of just depends. Sometimes dropping them a bit heavier works, but I don't like to do that too much unless I absolutely have to. Um, and in some cases I do. But, uh, yeah, let's see if I can get these open. Yeah, um, I have a video talking about these guys, but I just decided to include them in this one big video. But, uh, here they are, just in case you are interested. And, uh, yeah. Up next is I have one that I have not shown on camera yet. This is a custom painted Chaos Avior um, from Gundalian Invaders. I think I'm pronouncing that name right. I haven't actually heard of the Bakugan until I got it in a um, uh, video a couple a couple of days ago or so. Um, but let's see if he'll open properly. He doesn't like to open. Uh, sometimes we gotta kind of pop him. Let's see. I don't like doing this. Oh, okay. Got a little bit of him. Uh, yeah, so here he is. He's kind of like a kind of like a Knights Templar kind of style, I guess. I don't know. I thought he looked cool, and I had these colors available, so I was like, well, I might as well make this color scheme. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm digging the red. His like body piece right here has always had a hard time kind of popping out. I'll see if I can get it. He was very messed up when I got him. There you go. Uh, I can kind of throw up pictures of what he looked like. It was it was a mess, and I might do a, a deep dive into him as another video if you guys actually want it and go through the process of what I did. But um, he definitely needed saving, um, as you can tell from the images. But I think he looks pretty, pretty cool now. All right, next up on the list, I have two dual hydronoids. Um, so this one is Pyrus, and this one is Darkest. The Darkest one I use kind of as my, um, like when I uh, showcase any of like my other hydronoids and stuff, I have him, and then I have this one, which is Pyrus. Now. This one's less shiny. I don't know. I thought I used the same paint on both of these when I did this because I did this one months later. But this was like my first ever custom paint. I just took the ring off and uh, painted it silver. And as you can see, it's. I love how the magnet's still black, but then this is gold, or and then this is still silver. Uh, same with this one. I don't know. This one's a definitely a darker, like less reflective silver, but it does match the silver on his head pretty well. So I'm not too, like, it's not too bad, obviously. Um, but yeah, these guys are definitely really cool to have, and then it's much easier to just paint your dual hydronoid the silver ring to make it show accurate than try and buy a B1 heavy metal for like double the amount. It's just, it's such less of a hassle to just paint it. Um, and I recommend you do that unless you actually want to be one, but, uh, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I think it looks better in most, like, in my opinion. Up next, I have two different Cyborg Helioses, uh, both custom painted. So this is Darkus and this is Pyrus as well. So just like my Hydronoids, um, as you can see here, this was my second ever custom paint. It turned out amazing. And then this was my most recent. I just finished this one like two days ago. Um, so this one's never been seen on camera before either. 
Uh, pretty, pretty dang cool. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and pop them open. They struggle to pop open as well. Uh, so I can get them. This one especially. I received some of these like kind of broken. So, and uh, here they are. So Pyrus and Darkus, which I mean, they look totally amazing. Like, <laughs> and they're all they're all painted relatively the same. This one's more like a battle worn for some reason. That's just how it turned out when I painted it. But it's definitely like a little bit more. You, you can see there's more Sharpie silver on this than this one. And uh, don't worry about any smudging. This is protected by a glossy clear coat. So this Sharpie, which I've, I've heard people have like problems with the Sharpie coming right off the plastic. This will not. You can rub it forever and it will most likely not come off. I've, I've tested them rather well. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, they're painted pretty much the exact same. You can see here on the bottom as well. Um, very similar paint job. Even the wings, incredibly similar paint job. Uh, sides, same. This one's actually still got its G-Power covered. That little gray like, sticker is still on there. And I haven't taken it off yet. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I really like these guys. They're definitely a cool combo. Next up, I have my Waverns. So, uh pop these guys open uh, so if you haven't seen the video I like just put out a couple days ago um, you, you probably want to check that out it's it's a great video I, I literally painted this Wavern on video and kind of went through my process and showed you guys how to make one um, so this is like my second ever custom paint it was this Wavern right here a um, little more black lines and stuff detailing but I, I like the this one more without the black lines but yeah, it's still really awesome. Um, anime accurate, custom painted, Chaos Waverns. Super, super cool. This one opens better. For some reason, this one has a lot of trouble opening. Um, and that's just the price you pay when you have paint. So, uh, yeah. But really, really cool. Had fun making these. Again, video. You can check out the entire thing. Super awesome. Very detailed. And lastly, I have the Warrior Bakugan, the Legendary Warrior Bakugan. I have shown these in a video before, but they weren't all fully custom painted, and my clay wasn't, and now he's fully painted, but uh, he had a separate video. But let's see if I can get all these guys together really quick. Yeah, so there's Clayf, um, completely painted. Oberus, yellow painted in, silver, uh, like, talons, I guess you call them. I'm about to kick some of these guys off. Uh, Exedra painted the interior right here blue. Really love that. That was super fun to do. Uh, Lars Lion, she struggles to open, but neat paint job. I did gold instead of yellow just to make her feel more royal. Um, Apollinaire, I painted him twice now. He just doesn't. He just doesn't. Uh, he never turns out perfect. It's really weird. He's got all these like lines and stuff. Hard to paint. And then lastly, Frosh. Get him. Yeah, Frosh, super cool. Frosh, one of my favorites as well. It's kind of sh hard to show all these all in, like, right up on the video, but, uh, yeah, I painted all of these. It was super fun to do these guys as well. Um, Exedra, definitely my favorite, and then Frosh, probably. So, yeah, guys, that was, uh, all my custom paints so far. I decided to just do, like, a big video showcasing them all. Um, I don't know. It's really cool, especially if you're into, like, anime accurate Bakugan like I am. It's really awesome to see, like, how close you can get them to the actual show even though they never actually made them in toy form so like that's why there's people like me who custom paint them and try and make them look as, as good as i possibly can so that they're show accurate and great for my collection yeah i got a couple videos and, and stuff talking about these guys so i'll leave a playlist that'll probably be popping up right about now um, as an end card uh so yeah check that out my name's jesse hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one peace out